or harp. Right? There's different parts of the drum plays different sounds, which is cool. And then I can even tap the edge of the ride cymbal to show that the position, as I move closer to the bell, you get a different sound, and I'll alternate between the two. Right, or the left and right side of the hi-hat. So play open and close patterns. So really, really fun, and if you want, you can just run your finger in a circle and make a lot of noise. <laughs> Another great feature of these drums is that your kids can play them. <laughs> so guitar amp, this is great. Guitarists are going to love this. You can plug right into your iPad and play through classic amps and stomp box effects. They look and sound just like the originals. But you know, there are a lot more people out there who don't play guitar or don't play any instruments at all. And we really wanted GarageBand for iPad to be fun for everyone. So we designed a special kind of touch instrument that we call Smart Instrument. Now these smart instruments are designed for you to be able to have fun, be musical, even if you've never played a note in your life. And we have smart guitars, smart keyboards, smart bass, smart drums, but let's bring up the smart guitar and show you what it does. So here you can see an acoustic guitar, but one that everybody can play. We have some chords along the middle there, and we pre-picked all those chords, and we know that they work together, so we do that for you. You don't need to know anything about music, you just Take your finger, pick a chord, and then just strum your iPad. Right. They all sound good together. Yeah. Our campfires will never be the same. <laughs> and we can go and even play individual, we can tap individual notes and do finger picking. All right, so super fun. And here's a little trick I like to show is that you can lay your hand across all the strings and that dampens the guitar strings. So just the realism and expression of these instruments are so much fun, yet incredibly easy to play. Now if we want it to be even a little bit easier and have GarageBand do the finger picking or the strumming for me, a lot of these smart instruments have this autoplay dial. And I can just go ahead and dial up a pattern. The strings fade away, now I have these big bars, so the only decision I make is which chord do I want to play. And look what happens with one touch of a finger when I tap on one of these chords. Choose any chord. Isn't that cool? I just tap again. It's that simple to play parts. So in a lot of ways, these smart instruments, they're kind of like musical training wheels. They make it so you really can't play a bad note. Now, the next thing is recording. Let's say we, we have an idea and we want to capture it so we can hear it later. Recording in GarageBand for iPad is incredibly simple. You can see right at the top of the screen, that bright red button, that's in every touch instrument. So all we have to do is tap on it. We'll get a count in. I'll just play the part again. All right, you can see that now in the music timeline up here, we can see the area in green that shows me where my recording is gone. And I can go ahead and play it back. It sounds just like I played it. So you can tell really easy to do a recording. But you know, once you lay down one recording, that's actually the first step to writing a song. And to write a song, you need more than one track because you're going to be combining different instruments together. And that's where the track speed comes in. So right above the ruler, we have this little tracks button. And when I tap on it, the instrument rotates out of the way, and that brings up the canvas. And this is where I work on my song and the arrangement. So the controls at the top never change. Those are exactly the same. I don't have to relearn anything. I just rewind, show you that that part is still there. The difference is that I see this region. And I can just tap on that region. I can do things like trim it, come up with the exact length I want. And this is incredible because I'm touching right on the building blocks of my song, building the song as I go along. So GarageBand for iPad supports up to eight tracks. And let's put that into perspective for a second. Back when the Beatles recorded Sgt. Pepper, the most advanced technology of the day was a four-track tape recorder. And it weighed 300 pounds and was the size of a washing machine. So now today, people are going to have super fun with up to eight tracks on an iPad that's just this light and thick. It's really, really just incredible. Well, let's go up and bring up a demo song. I'll tap on my songs. And we want to show you what this looks like when you have a bunch of tracks in place and the screen's kind of filled in. And this one uses a whole bunch of our touch instruments. We've got drums and bass and keyboards, a couple of guitar amps. 
And uh, you know, I can swipe back and forth to just scroll through my song. If I want to see the entire song at a glance, I just pinch to zoom out, and there it is. If I want to see any details, I just pinch to zoom in and get you know, as close as I want. Or I can, of course, go ahead and rewind it and play. smart guitar is strumming along with the track and it's a little quiet so let's bring up the volume so you can hear it. The smart guitar back it off. Bring the rest of the instruments back. Really cool. Okay so when you make any changes like that if I ever go back and I tap on my song it's going to auto save for me make sure that all the changes are, are saved. And now I have a couple options to share that song with my friends. I can tap on export, and it's going to render an AAC file of the song to make it sound great and be really easy to share. I can email it right from within GarageBand, just type a little note and tell my friends to check out my new mix, or I can send it to my iTunes library. So the next time I connect my iPad to my Mac or my PC, I can move it right over and add it to my iTunes library. So that's just a quick look at GarageBand for iPad. It turns your iPad into a complete recording studio and a collection of these incredible touch instruments. And we just can't wait to hear all the creative things that people are going to do once they get this in their hands. Thank you.